Envision a world with clean, limitless and perpetual energy. No oil, no smoke, just a steady steam of power sourced from Earth itself. Sounds like fantasy, doesn't it? But for researchers in Iceland, such a fantasy may be close at hand. They are developing a revolutionary concept, drilling 2.5 times deeper than the Burj Khalifa's height, straight into magma chambers to tap an essential boundless source of energy. In Iceland, scientists are preparing for one of the most energy initiatives ever pursued, the Karafa Magma Testbed, KMT, where they intend to drill into a magma chamber under the Karafa volcano on purpose. This bizarre endeavor has the potential to transform how we produce electricity, but it poses some grave questions. Can it really be done and harnessed directly from molten rock? What are the dangers? Can this be the solution that ultimately ends the world energy crisis? First, let's explore how geothermal energy works. A tremendous amounts of energy can be found deep in the roots of the high temperature areas. Why scientists believe magma drilling could be the future, the major challenges they face and what this could mean for the world's energy future. Prior to venturing into the concept of drilling into magma, let's step aside and learn the process of common geothermal power. At the center of the Earth, temperatures reach up to 6000 degrees Celsius, roughly as hot as the surface of the Sun. This intense heat sweeps outwards, heating up underground rock or water. In some fortunate locations, such as Ireland, California and Indonesia, this heat is much nearer to the surface, creating natural underground reserves of hot water and steam. And that's where the geothermal power plants enter. So how do we harness this heat? It's really a fairly straightforward process. The engineers drill as deep as 3 km below ground level to access the steaming hot water reserves. The high heat converts water into steam that rotates a huge turbine that produces electricity. Once it's cooled, the steam reverts into water, which is pumped back underground. The earth heats it again naturally, producing a never-ending loop. But there's one big limitation. Geothermal plants can only be constructed in certain places, where heat underground is readily available. That drastically curtails how much of the world has access to geothermal energy. But what if we could drill even deeper? What if, rather than accessing hot water, we could drill directly into magma, the molten rock beneath Earth's crust? That's basically what researchers are attempting to achieve. If achieved, magma drilling can open an almost boundless energy source and render geothermal energy accessibility to multiple places worldwide. Sounds incredible, right? Well, it's also insanely difficult and potentially dangerous. We are going to explore why magma drilling is both exciting and terrifying at the same time. Way back in 2009, something remarkable occurred in Iceland. Engineers were drilling a geothermal well at the Karafa volcano, anticipating hitting hot water. Instead, they inadvertently struck magma. Initially, this appears to be catastrophic. The extreme heat, more than 900 degrees Celsius, could have vaporized the equipment. But something remarkable took place. The well started yielding superheated steam, 10 times stronger than a typical geothermal well. This accidental discovery posed a revolutionary question. What if we intentionally drilled into magma? Would we be able to tap into tremendous power? Cut ahead to 2024, as researchers are ready to make just that happen. The Karafa magma testbed will be the first endeavor ever to intentionally drill into a chamber of magma. If all goes well, it could lead to a game-changing new means of producing energy. But how are they going to make it happen? Now drilling into magma isn't as simple as digging a hole. It's one of the most extreme engineering challenges ever attempted. The Karafa Magma Testbed project in Iceland is leading the way and here's how they plan to do it. Scientists will drill through 3 to 5 kilometers of solid rock to reach the magma chamber. This requires ultra high strength drill bits that can withstand extreme pressure and heat. Once they reach the top of the chamber, they remove the drill. Then they will insert a hollow steel tube able to withstand immense heat and corrosive magma. After that, they will fill the outside of the borehole with concrete. Then, using a small drill, they will push into the magma, taking a sample as they go before implementing sensors. After that, a second, similar borehole will also tap into the magma. After tapping into the chamber, they will encounter super hot steam. This type of steam is 10 times more powerful than normal geothermal steam, meaning it can generate way more electricity from fewer wells. These magma chambers are under high pressure and extracting it without causing an explosion is the most difficult part. 
Scientists will watch pressure closely to avoid blowouts and manage the release of steam in a constant, useful manner. Once the steam is safely extracted, it will be piped into a heat exchanger where water is heated, which then drives a turbine just like in a regular geothermal plant. After the steam cooled, it returns underground, where it's reheated by the magma, creating a continuous cycle. Harnessing magma could have enormous advantages. In contrast to water-based geothermal plant, which loses heat over time, magma is kept at an incredibly high temperature for thousands if not millions of years. Conventional geothermal facilities produce steam at 200 degrees, but magma wells could produce steam up to 500 degrees Celsius or higher. That translates into a whole lot more energy from the wells. For example, in Carafa there are currently 18 boreholes producing geothermal energy for 30,000 households. It's estimated that two magma boreholes could replace them. Similar to conventional geothermal energy, magma energy would not produce carbon emissions, giving it a strong potential to replace fossil fuels. Developed properly, it could drastically reduce worldwide carbon emission. If magma drilling is successful, we could tap into a source of energy in other locations such as the Pacific Fire Ring, Kenya or even Hawaii, making geothermal power available to more nations. It all sounds amazing, right? But with any bold idea, there are big challenges to overcome. Drilling into magma is one of the most extreme engineering feasts ever undertaken. Why? Because magma is not your typical underground rock. It's molten, it's extremely hot and highly unpredictable. Most drilling equipment melts at 300 degrees Celsius. Magma is three times hotter. Scientists are experimenting with special high-grade nickel alloys and titanium to be able to handle these temperatures. As already mentioned, magma chambers are under high pressure. If drilling is misdone, it may lead to blowouts or hazardous gas eruptions. Moreover, it is quite expensive. A standard geothermal well takes millions to construct. Magma drilling is even more costly, and it is not yet clear if it is financially viable. And the greatest fear? Might drilling into magma trigger an eruption? Scientists think it's unlikely, but it is something they have to closely monitor and research before bigger projects are on the way. In spite of these obstacles, the Carafa magma testbed is going ahead. One of the driving forces behind this landmark project is Björn Pallesen, an Icelandic engineer employed by Iceland's national power utility. Pallesen and his crew are spearheading the KMT project, which has the following objectives. Drilling into Carafa magma chamber, a first in the world. Investigate magma at close range, never attempted before. Trial new drilling technology to endure intense heat tap the potential of magma-based geothermal energy for the future and closely monitor geological events. If they succeed, the world may witness an energy source which is clean, reliable and almost inexhaustible. Sure, there are still some obstacles to overcome. The technology is experimental, the threat is great and the expenses are known. With researchers like Pallison at the held, we may be closer than we realize. So, might magma actually hold the secrets to boundless clean energy? If researchers can make this work, we could be living in a world where fossil fuels are a thing of the past. But with temperatures that are extreme, high expenses and a volatile drift, there is a long way to go yet. What do you think? Is drilling for magma the energy of the future? Or is it just too dangerous? Let me know in the comments. And if you liked this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on more amazing science and tech stories. With that being said, see you in the next one.